these lambs are eating Russian olive. When they finished, researchers dosed them with lithium chloride. The lithium chloride simulates the effects toxins have on animals. Here's their reaction to Russian olive two days later. This is their first meal of the morning and the lambs are hungry, but only these two are brave enough to try it again. Though they spend time sniffing the plant and checking it out, they eat very little. Animals do not avoid foods because they taste bad. They avoid them because they are unfamiliar or because they make animals sick. Learning from negative feedback keeps animals safe from most toxic plants. This second group of lambs is eating carrageena. Just like the first group of lambs, once they finished, they received a dose of lithium chloride. Here's their reaction to carrageena two days later. For the third part of the demonstration, both groups are led into the pen at the same time and given a choice between Russian olive and carrageena. If it is true that animals avoid plants that provide negative feedback, the lambs who are given lithium after eating Russian olive should choose to eat carrageena. The other group of lambs should choose to eat Russian olive. The lambs who are supposed to eat carrageena are marked with C's to help you track them. Compare the speed these lambs separate into food groups with the lambs who learn from their mothers what to eat and what to avoid. The lambs who learn from personal experience with toxins are much quicker to choose the safe food. Both Russian olive and carrageena contain toxins. The lambs are able to eat these plants because they eat only small amounts of them and because they have plenty of other nutrients from other foods. Nutrients help animals detoxify plant toxins. Managers can help animals eat foods with toxins by letting them mix a variety of foods or by providing supplements specific to a particular toxin.